Well, today's bread day, I'm going to bake a 16-inch loaf of bread in my uh, Wilton 16-inch loaf pan. So it's going to be my normal recipe. Usually I use two loaf pans, 28 ounces of flour, and uh, now we're just going to put it in one pan. And I'm testing lights. I, they gave me a brand new kitchen fluorescent setup here. So uh, we're going energy efficient in this building. And I got all my twisty lights set up. I got one, two, three, four, five. I got five lights hitting me. So we're testing our lights also. But uh, that's uh, today. It's going to be big loaf of bread. Just plain white bread. We're still trying to work up to a brioche. A 16 inch loaf, square loaf of brioche. So I set up some of my ingredients. I got two cups of water. I got two tablespoons of active dry yeast. I have another teaspoon of active dry yeast. This is going to go into the dry flour. I have salt and pepper, a teaspoon each. That goes into the dry flour. I've got two tablespoons of granulated white sugar. That's going to go into this water after it's been heated up. And I have a teaspoon of uh, light brown sugar, which is going to go into the dry flour. And I'm going to use just standard uh, supermarket flour. I like to use a scale to weigh out my flour. So I'll go with 28 ounces of flour. I have it marked here with this little green line. And I just dump it in. And I think it's easiest. I like to use a scale, so I have a green line marked. That's 28 ounces of flour. The recipe originally was 32 ounces of flour. I've moved it to 28 ounces of flour. And uh, I just dump it in, and it's, it comes out good every time. And then I'll use my Bosch mixer. I like to start off with the whisk. I like to get all my dry ingredients mixed up. Okay, I think our first step is to uh, get our 28 ounces of flour. And there we have our 28 ounces of flour. So we're ready for our dry ingredients. Twenty eight ounces of flour. We have some brown sugar. This is a light brown sugar. It's going to go in there. Got to crush it up a little. We have our salt and pepper. That's salt and pepper combined in there, a teaspoon each. And we have one teaspoon of active dry yeast. This is Bob's Red Mill. We we'll use our whisk attachment. It's like 20 minutes after 5 o'clock in the morning. I don't want to make too much noise. I like 
the hospital with us. And that should be good. Okay, what we're going to do next is warm up our water to dissolve our yeast and granulated sugar. We have like a 100 degree oven running to uh, get our bread dough to rise. So, and then we'll just go from that 100 degree oven, we'll crank it right up to 400. When it hits 400, we'll move it down to 350, and that will be our baking temperature. So our water is nice and hot. Too hot, actually. Actually, so I can keep my finger in there. I'm going to lower that temperature by first dropping in the sugar. This is our two tablespoons. 